Welcome back to another video guys. Today we're doing something to Miley that I've been wanting to do for the longest time. I've not modded Miley in forever, but we're going to make this rear look a whole lot better than it is right now. Let's get right into it. We are adding some more carbon fiber here and carbon fiber is one of the mods that I absolutely love and I know you guys love as well. So far my carbon fiber setup is pretty nice. We have the forged carbon fiber steering wheel Formula One style with the Italian suede as well as the carbon fiber weave running all along my my dash here absolutely transforming the interior of the car but i don't have any carbon fiber on the outside this is actually going to be the very first carbon fiber that we do here on the shelby gt500 exterior wise and one of the things that swapping out is a must are going to be these plastic trims that you see all along the car so the rear valence these little uh, mud flaps those mud flaps as well as the front splitter as well we're going to be focusing on the rear here with the wing and the rear valence so without further ado let me show you what i got guys check this out forge carbon fiber gt500 wing from zeta composites look at that weave and the reflection out in the sun i cannot wait to put this on here this is one of the two pieces that we received here from zeta composites 11 to 14 mustangs on instagram if you want to check them out as well well, this is absolutely going to transform the GT500 in every single way. The rear is gonna be looking so good. Let me go and grab the rear valence and show you what I'll be comparing this, but dude, the sun is coming out and look at that. That is so cool. That's one of the favorite things about forged carbon fibers, how it reflects in the sun. That is so nice. So let me go ahead and get package number two. And here is the rear valence that we're gonna be pairing it with. This one is a little bit different from the factory one. We get one extra diffuser here. So this is a little bit custom. This is not gonna be the factory replacement like we have on the GT500 wing, but dude, this is gonna look so nice with the quad exhaust, of course factory replacement there to put the forward racing axle backs poking out of here I cannot wait to install this this also does have a wide body if you guys forgot so we're gonna see if this fits on the wide body gt500 it should i don't see any reason why it wouldn't but this and the wing is gonna look so badass. Huge shout out to Zeta Composites for sending out the wing and the rear valence here on the GT500. If you guys want to get any type of carbon fiber on your ride or wanna get the same thing, make sure to check them out. Let's get this installed. Let's show you guys a little before and then we'll get right into washing and doing the full installation. So she's a little bit dirty. That's one of the things with black cars is that they get dirty so fast, but this is just the stock one as mentioned previously. Stock GT500, I'm still gonna keep this just in case I wanna go back to black, but one of the things about this rear valence is that it gets oxidized, it gets faded out, and to swap it out with carbon fiber is a great, great upgrade. Another thing that we could possibly do, or that they had an option, was for the deck lip panel. One of the things I did not want to do is swap out the deck lip panel because I love the GT500 emblem right here. I don't want to get rid of this, but if you have a 5.0 or a V6, by all means, check out their carbon fiber deck lip because that might be a huge upgrade here for you. Also, another big upgrade that I really want to do is get rid of this plastic. They don't have the forged carbon fiber just quite yet of the plastic license plate frame here. They are currently in production. So once when that does get released, we'll go ahead and get this forged carbon fiber. But I think that'll look perfect and pair perfectly with the rear wing the valence as well as the license plate frame that would make this rear end absolutely perfect one of the thing about living with a whole bunch of car guys is that parking is full so i'm gonna try my best to wash the car without getting drew supra all wet as well as the cobra cobra is in the car cover here but we also do have the mclaren as well as the accord right there and i think will is coming up with his ra <laughs> Here's Will's new R8, looking good. We finally have all of the cars somewhat here. We're still missing the uh, Mustang. Yeah, we got a HOA on us, so you gotta calm down on that. Speaking of carbon fiber, we have Drew's carbon fiber wheels. Let's talk about all the carbon fiber on the whips here. I think that's the only carbon fiber part he has, and then Will also has a carbon fiber wing right on the rear here. You got another one coming up, right? Got the big one coming. This thing is gonna look so good, carbon fiber dressed. The wheels too? Nice, that's what's up. Yeah, check out Will. He has a sweet R8 build coming up. Instagram, YouTube, you guys already know the deal. All right, let's go over the rest of the carbon fiber around here in the gearbox. We got Drew's wing here, it looks pretty good. It's like half wrapped, half carbon fiber. It looks pretty cool because you get like the shape, but then you get the sun on top. He's got these side skirts looking really good as well as he's got the chin spoiler right here. Hood vents right here as well. I'm not entirely sure if his full hood is carbon fiber. Now that I'm looking at it, I honestly don't remember it unwrapped. That's the carbon fiber 
fiber on those two cars. The Cobra, I would love to put some carbon fiber. I don't know exactly what I'm gonna do, but we will get carbon fiber eventually. On Will's Mustang, let me show you his steering wheel. Looks pretty nice. That is carbon fiber with a uh, suede as well and the Formula One. So very, very similar to mine, but his forged carbon fiber is slightly different weave than mine. Classic, on the other hand. Once when I finish this, then I'll think about carbon fiber. Carbon fiber is probably one of the last things I'm looking at here with the fastback, but uh, maybe the chin spoiler. I'm not entirely sure. We'll, we'll get to this once when I finish my damn Coyote swap. And then on the Honda, I don't think there is any carbon fiber on that one. So that's basically a review on all the cars that have carbon fiber here at the gearbox. And uh, from here, I don't think Drew's Mustang, his three valve has any carbon fiber. So what's your favorite carbon fiber part amongst all of the gearbox here? And the comment down below, let me know what you think. It is the next day because I couldn't beat the sun last night, but let's go ahead and continue our quest to get forged carbon fiber on the GT500. Being open the trunk, it's very easy. One of the things that I love about this install, it's very, very easy. We're gonna take all of these clips that you see here to get off the liner. So we could get to the bolts, you're gonna need one of these little uh, door clips, whatever they're called. But let me pop open these and then we'll go about unbolting the wing. All right, I finally got this covering on. It's always a good idea to keep those uh, pins in the hole so that you don't lose them. But we got one bolt right here, one bolt right there, one bolt right here, and one bolt right there. About four bolts, I think they're 10 mils. And then after that, they pop right out and this wing should be done. Now that we have all of the bolts unlocked, we just rip off the wing, so let's get right to it. Out with the old, finally got the wing right off. She is a bit dirty here. Let me wash this all off, clean it up, alcohol it, prep it to get the new wing right on. It looks so good with the black. It's not complete yet. We're still going to do the rear valence and we need to put downforce on it and then readjust it to make sure that it is on perfectly. But I love the combination here with the forged carbon fiber. That looks so good. But now that we have that, let's go about the rear valence again. Super, super easy install, four bolts, take off the wing. And then for the rear valence, it's actually just two screws right here. You get one screw right there, same exact on the other end. And then there's a whole bunch of clips. There is one clip right here that you're gonna have to undo. It's all the way up there, I already did it. It's one of these little pop out ones. This comes in really, really clutch. Same exact thing. And then the rear valence literally just pops right out. Now let's compare on contrast the forged carbon fiber to the stock OEM. As you guys can see, it's kind of oxidized. It does get worn out over time and uh, the plastic doesn't really pop out or really show any type of uh, exclusiveness. Heading right over to the forged carbon fiber, you guys could tell this is high quality. We get two extra diffusers on the side, dual quad, and we're gonna check to see how this fitment is. This is a lot more sturdier than this flimsy as well. That's something I really noticed that this is really, really flimsy and this is like a rock forged carbon fiber super super strong the only modifications that we're gonna have to do is draw a small little hole exactly where this is right here so that we could uh, screw in that one screw same on the other side but besides that it should fit in like a glove It is the next day here and we got the forged carbon fiber installed on the rear diffuser as well as on the wing right here. It looks so nice because you do get the difference here between the forged carbon fiber and the black itself. It's subtle and a little change, but it makes a huge difference if you ask me. It still has that dark feature. It doesn't really pop out and really yell ricer in a way here, but it definitely is there, especially if you look at it. It's really, really nice. I cannot get over this. This is really nice. The fitment is good as well. 
uh, did take a little wiggling here with the wide body, uh, but nonetheless, it did get on right away. And just give you guys some more looks on this forged carbon fiber. Looks so nice here. Now we just need to grab the license plate. I think we would be complete with the carbon fiber rear end. What do you guys think on this forged carbon fiber? Comment down below your thoughts, your opinions on this. And, uh, in my opinion, it looks pretty good. I like it. That, let's go ahead and actually get the Super Snake wheels because I really honestly think it'll look a lot better with the Super Snake wheels with the drag pack. I don't know what it is with the drag pack. I think the drag pack makes the rear end look different. I don't know exactly what it is, but let's get the Super Snake wheels on and get this matched up really nice. Guys, I just put on the Super Snake wheels, completed the forged carbon fiber installation. I'm speechless. Let me just show you how it looks. Look at that ass. Oh my God. Forged carbon fiber in the sunlight is a game changer. Look at how clean this looks. It pops out way more than that normal carbon fiber weave and that old plastic trim that was there before. Damn, what do you guys think? I'm so mad right now. I am absolutely so mad because I literally just washed this yesterday and it's dirty for some reason. You can see all my fingerprints trying to get it installed and the dust when I was getting that down. I need to wash this car, put it in the sunlight again, and show you guys this is an absolute game changer when it comes to modifying your car. Forged carbon fiber from Zeta Composites, 11 to 14 Mustangs. You got to equip it, especially this black combo it is so sweet. <laughs> That's exactly what the car needed, just a little wash. And the sun is actually setting perfectly right now because we're hitting half dark, half light. The sun is actually not setting here on the rear valence, but it is on the uh, rear diffuser right there. And look how nice that looks. You can see the difference. This is more of like a golden reflection, stands out a lot more. And then this is like that gray carbon fiber reflection, which looks really, really nice. But I cleaned her up. She looks a lot better, boys. And I am still starstruck on at how well this looks. Look at that, wow. I hate when I have to wash it, it's always dripping too. <laughs> There's always that. I need to get an air compressor and blow out the full carbo. Ooh, wee, she's looking good. I need a new photo shoot right now with the rear end, wow. And here it is all in the uh, shade, as you would say, slight light. But you could tell that this has different appearances throughout the lighting that it hits. I love it. It's so nice. It pops out the rear a little bit more instead of blending everything into. And that's one thing I love because that thing just pops out like no other. And uh, it contrasts with the black absolutely perfectly. What a successful install here with the Forge Carbon Fiber. Thank you guys so much for staying tuned in the video. If you liked it, make sure to slam that like button, subscribe down for more. I'm gonna see you guys on the next one. We're gonna take her out, we're gonna rip her, and we're gonna do a lot of fun things. So, see you guys on the next one.